is leaving Europe where this is, is the, the virus is spreading heavily. Do you feel safer going back to the United States? And they said, you know, not really. We know it's coming to us. Um, but the underlying feeling there, of course, they'd rather, if they're going to go through it, be there at home with friends, loved ones, in an environment that they know, Jake. Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. Hang in there, buddy. Yeah. Mm. Eat ring. Mm. So, Randy Gay is going to walk around while I talk to everybody here. So, we're in a pandemic. The globe is taking on this thing here. Uh, part of my brain is like, whoa, freak out. Another part is like, uh, um, I'm looking at the global and larger city areas. And that's kind of where I'm basing my, uh, super concern off of South Carolina, where I'm at is, uh, in a state of emergency, only two counties have confirmed cases, but with testing being what it is, uh, and facts are so fluid, it could take days, maybe two weeks or so to even see symptoms off of this virus. Um, I just found out that Google is going to be setting up a symptom website where you just type in your symptoms and the government's working with the Walgreens, CVS's, Walmart's, Target's, all those companies to possibly perform drive-through testing for people and they will go from there. It's so fluid as far as vaccines and things go. That's being worked on globally. We will see how that works with the U.S. health system. Let's adjust a little bit. All right, so we've got a bigger situation going on here than strictly talking money. Um, this is bigger than the gig economy, bigger than the stock market in the world economy. It's a pandemic is what we're facing. But the real life Tony Starks and Bruce Banners of the world are going to have to come together and rig something up. We'll throw Reed Richards in there too. Let's <laughs> make some more comic book references. All of them, all the real life versions to cook something up here for us. Um, we're all worried. We're all in a rough situation here, but those paycheck to paycheck people, the independent contract people such as photographers, um, it's, it's gonna be tough. So, not too many ways to sugarcoat that. Uh, good news is, you know, we're all gonna try to work our way through this thing together. This sort of thing starts to lead to recessions and when recessions happen, pink slips happen, people lose jobs. I'm aware a lot of people have already been fired due to this outbreak and your mental health goes on a decline. You can become suicidal in these kind of situations. The Suicide Prevention Hotline is here to help you have someone to speak to, to talk to. Of course, it's on the screen right now. I'm gonna link it wherever I can link it, wherever this video is posted. So you have someone to speak to if you need to. The CDC's website's got the fluid information that's just up and down with this virus. They're learning things day by day. Uh, CDC.gov is where you go for that. The travel ban kicks in here at midnight. This is a Friday as I record this. Um, it's not a total ban, but that too can be very fluid. But um, definitely not an expert in this field. I am, however, very, very close to the greater community because it's what I am and the photography community. And like I was saying earlier, those independent contractors like us, yes, it's bigger things than cash going on, but I know the, the bills and things are still coming through. We're all going through this together and having to keep internet and phone and usage to the outside world is going to be very, very important. So I know none of you know creators who are artists and photographers, videographers, whatever their art might be, they have some online stores. Please, if you can, purchase something from them or just make a donation because I'm not 100% sure how shipping can be affected here with this pandemic going on. So if they have an online store, some digital goods, if you have the means yourself and can donate something to those individuals, please, please, please do so. It would be so greatly appreciated. And hit the like button, sharing videos on YouTube, trying to take on the almighty algorithm at a time like this. Just anything to try to help some of the creative types out and the independent contractors as well. Um, and in a physical world, the friends who do independent work, such as housing work and things like that, if there's something you can plan down the road with them, reach out to those small business owners, pretty please. 
We all greatly will appreciate it. We're going through this thing together and we're gonna, we're gonna ride it out here. We're gonna be all right. So I uh, just wanna hop on here, throw my two cents on. All right, take care of each other. I'll check back in with you a little bit later on in this thing we call life. I really gotta get a better sign off, I know. I, I, I have not been able to come up with one. <laughs>